Hi folks there, it's Liz Soria here again, your tax advisor and accountant. Um, I specialize in one of the few niches that I do is actually e-commerce and um, actually uh, retail um, businesses. And one of the things I wanna talk about because I've been asked about this in so many occasions that I say, well, finally, I'm gonna create a, you know, some um, short videos and kind of solo episodes uh, because uh, welcome, by the way, to, 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 to my YouTube channel, my podcast. Um, if you haven't uh, seen me before, I actually been recording a lot of episodes in the last two years and talk about a lot about this topic, e-commerce, sales tax, use tax. But today's episode, it's one that um, I thought was really interesting because people always ask me, is there states out there that don't charge sales tax? Right, and uh, well, there's good news. Yes, there is. Um, actually, there's only um, five. That's it, that's all you got. Five states that do not charge sales tax whatsoever. But out of those five, really three do not charge no tax whatsoever. Um, or is there such a thing as really no tax? Hmm, well, I bring that up because this is what's interesting. Out of the five states, uh, New Hampshire, um, actually we have uh, Montana and Oregon. Those are three that supposedly don't charge zero. Their sales tax is zero. Um, however, what's interesting, I was actually doing some research, was that Montana, for an example, some locations will charge you some sort of tax. They might not call it sales tax, but it's a different tax for people who are having logins uh, like hotels or uh, what they call, um, uh, you know, prepared food, which could be restaurants, right? Uh, they do have some location tax. Hmm. So is it really zero tax? I don't know. You tell me. But anyhow, supposedly those are the three, and we have Alaska, and we also have Delaware, if I'm not mistaken. I'm just want to make sure here. I check on my list. And so there are five states to do that now. They find other ways of taxing different things, like I just explained with the example of Montana. Um, but, you know, the interesting about these things, about these states, that they do exist. And like I said, they're very few. And, um, you know, from my own perspective, my opinion, uh, who knows, maybe in the next 10, 20 years, they might become also taxable <laughs> uh, because the majority of taxation right now is becoming so aggressive the states that they're trying to pull money everywhere right because we have so many manufacturing company companies you know leaving out of the united states and obviously as you know going to overseas uh you know away from china to you know ireland because of the favoritism that they have with the corporate tax over there and such and such uh but anyhow i wanted to do this for 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 for, for anyone who's you know, trying to figure out, uh, is there really states out there? Yes, they are. And again, that is Alaska, and there is Delaware, there's Oregon, New Hampshire, and also, as I stated, what was it, Montana? There you go. So, um, so at least I hope I, I kind of answer one of those many questions that I get out there and always saying, which states are they? So here they are. <laughs> um, so anyhow, uh, remember, we're here for you. So again, if you haven't listened or this is your first time, um, please go back. We, I'm going to be recording a series of um, actually uh, short videos uh, in regards to the e-commerce and retail industry. Um, and this is part of the series. Um, hopefully I'll make them as sure as sweet as possible. And again, your feedback is always welcome. Like, share, and subscribe. Obviously that helps a lot to uh, grow uh, you know, my, my connections. And uh, we're here for you. Like I said, we do specialize, by the way, in sales tax and nexus, uh, which is very important. Remember with the new court, law just last year uh, in june of 2018 uh, was the wayfair case against uh you know the the the, the court which it was where uh, now it's not all about uh, physical presence meaning i don't only have a brick and mortar retail store like many of you still have um but you also sell online so now we need to be extremely careful with where do you have presence that's right. So it's not only the physical presence, it's the actual, what we call uh, presence of, um, of, of really selling your product or even your services. Yes, you heard me right. Some services are taxable 
even uh, whatever profession you might be, uh, we will need to do specific research. Um, if you are a professional selling a service, whether you're a coach or something else, that there are some states that do tax, uh, you know, professional uh, services. But in the product, it has to do with the economical presence. That's how they call it. Yeah, so it's not only physical, it's economical presence. So if you're making money and you reach that threshold, wherever it is, uh, chances are you gonna get taxed because once you start doing that, you need to make sure you start collecting that sales tax uh, from your customer because otherwise, well, it's gonna come out of your, you know, your pocket. Uh, so anyhow, like I said, Follow me too. I mean, there's going to be a, a few episodes just uh, talking about different things. One of the other episodes that I'm going to be talking about, it's really uh, not only about how, you know, there's uh, an exposure of, of how, you know, really uh, a lot of people are finding vendors online and reporting them to the states. Um, and, and it's happening everywhere, by the way. This is not 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 something I'm making up. You can do all the research that you want, but um, it is a reality. And uh, I just, you know, I want all of you just to be cautious about it and, and do the right thing. Um, the same way we pay our tax bill when it comes to Uncle Sam, our federal taxes. Uh, now with the states, again, being so, uh, you know, strong about their point about collecting their monies, um, they, 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 they're becoming very harsh. So, you know, please be careful. Just be compliant and guess what? You can continue doing business like any other time and start collecting your sales tax. Um, again, I have another video about something that I personally have my, my own opinion that I express and it's that consumers are getting used to paying sales tax online. So don't feel bad about it. Uh, just add it to, to your product, especially if you know you're reaching that threshold. And again, we can do that kind of a, I call it excess sales tax a checkup for you um, and see where you're at. Oh, at least keep an eye and monitor what's going on, okay? So anyhow, if you're looking for those five states, I already told you. Um, and again, if there's anything we can do on my team, reach out to me through my website or um, just book, um, you know, a complimentary, uh, you know, consultation with me. And then from that point, we can move forward and see if we're a good fit. All right. Well, thank you so much. And like I said, we're going to do other ones. I'm going to be doing um, also sales tax about professional services, what states are charging professionals uh, taxes. And also I'm going to mention about a little bit about what's going on with all these warehouses and other facilities um, that if you are selling online and you have, for example, you're an Amazon or eBay seller, or um, even if you have a fulfillment, fulfillment uh, warehouse, be careful um, because that's in one of those episodes that you do not want to miss um, that we talk about how uh, your link to that state um, and they can also find you through that source. Anyhow, thank you so much. Like, share, and subscribe. And like I said, reach out to me if you need anything. Thank you so much. And until the next episode. And uh, again, your feedback is always welcome. Um, I always like to talk about topics that I think they're very concerning um, to the you know to the regular business owner. Um, so thank you so much. And until next episode. Bye bye. Take care.